The Lidminster Region Health Foundation held their Million Dollar Gala over the weekend. It was the gala's 10th birthday and the community, along with some provincial politicians, came out to celebrate in style and support health care. And it's my great pleasure to, with Tim and Jean, uh, present to the board from the Health Foundation checks from the Alberta government and the Saskatchewan government each uh, of a million dollars. A big donation for a big cause with a big party. It seems only fitting that the provincial governments would choose this night to break a two million dollar donation announcement to the Health Foundation. And by that same token, it's only natural the foundation would match another million to fund a renovation for the Lloydminster Hospital. I think the Health Foundation here in Lloydminster is a, one of the premier uh, fundraising and organizing groups in Lloydminster, they're extremely well respected and I think across Saskatchewan they're looked at as real leaders. Sometimes you lose sight about uh, what a million dollars is, but I know in the right place with the right people a million dollars could make a huge difference. That difference will be redeveloping Lloydminster Hospital's ER and establishing a digital mammography program. These upgrades and investments made possible by the foundation aren't meant to replace government health care funding, but complement it. Prairie North Health buys the basics and the foundation provides the extras. Without the, the foundation really uh, uh, pushing, pulling uh, uh, to make things happen in Lloydminster, uh, you know, I, I think our job would be so much more difficult. The foundation has invested over $13.7 million into the community since its inception in 1983. And 10 years of galas now account for $1 million on its own. But it wasn't always the large production it is today. It wasn't a household word in Lloydminster. People when Marilyn took on chairing the gala, awareness was a big component. She had to answer the question, what is the Health Foundation? At that time, people were thinking, well, we have government funding for health care. You know, why do we have to do this extra fundraising? So there was a whole awareness component, and a ga the gala became a large part of this. She used the gala as a means of getting the message out and securing the funds. Using high-end entertainment in a first-class evening, she and her committee instilled their message that has become a cultural norm in Lloydminster today. If we wanted to have first-rate health care in Lloydminster to attract first-rate healthcare professionals and specialists. We had to have the equipment and the technology that was just, you know, the leading edge for the time. And, and we had to raise money in order to do that. This year, the gala sold out a month before the event, and there was a waiting list for tables. People are behind this cause, so advertising is no longer necessary. It's um, a way that there can be a a lot of funds put towards one particular area or one particular program and I think that's what makes the gala unique. Throughout the years, gala dollars have purchased a variety of equipment and funded many renovations and healthcare facilities all over the city. We consult with the health region, see what their priorities are. We work with our donors to see what it is that's important to them and between the two we come to a consensus and we move forward in the areas that make the most sense for, for our broader community. When we come back, we meet the people behind the checks. Why they continue to keep the Health Foundation afloat is next on Around the Region. The cause for enhancing health care would be lost without sponsors. The business community in Lloyd Binster pulls together to donate. As business, business owners and uh, employers, uh, we'll, we have a, feel we have a social responsibility to contribute to the enhancement of our community. The Olsons say every added feature and service in Lloydminster make it a more attractive community to do business in. By doing that donation, we are touching every one of our employees as well as our friends and families' lives in Lloydminster at some point in time. It may not be today, it may be when you've left our employee, but in some respects you'll always be um, touching someone's life. Many businesses invest in more than one cause in Lloydminster, but the Health Foundation is top spot on Agland's list. We do it on behalf of our staff and our customers because, I mean, they, they invest in our dealership. Um, they all contribute to it and because of that we want to support things that, you know, influence everybody in a positive way and we just feel that that's, that's a real winner is the Health Foundation. This generosity has become contagious among residents, evident through the support shown at special fundraisers and the continuing sea of volunteers ready to donate their time in the name of health care. I think it'll just continue to grow. 
I mean, the need for healthcare dollars is never going to decrease. There's always going to be new programs, new equipment that needs to come in. And I think as long as the foundation is willing to put the time and effort, I don't think they'll ever have problems finding volunteers to work for it. And I don't think they'll ever have a problem selling out. And it's this ongoing support that will continue to set the foundation apart from the many community health initiatives throughout our two provinces. And it's in that respect that uh, Lloyd Snell Grove and I are here uh, to help show our appreciation for the volunteers, the sponsors, the people who are truly building their communities because it's their health care that's uh, going to be That's what $2 million looks like, ladies and gentlemen, and it all stays right here. That's all the time we have for this week. If you have comments or questions about tonight's show, feel free to email us at the address on your screen. I'm Whitney Stinson, and we'll see you around the region.